today we are discussing binary search tree. Uh, before coming to binary search tree, uh, I will just like to throw some light on tree first of all. So, what is a tree? A tree is a special type of graph since graph is a non-linear data structure. So, tree is also a non-linear data structure. So, a tree is a special type of graph where for reaching from one node to any other node there is only one path. It means it does not carry any cycles or loops. Okay. Let us take example of a graph. See this is this is a graph. Okay. So, we may call this graph G. So, this is a graph G. Now, we are drawing some trees from this graph. Okay. See whenever we are extracting trees from a graph, then uh, one thing we should always keep in mind that we have to cover all the nodes without cycles and loops. Okay. So, this is my tree T1 which I have extracted from graph G, this is my tree T2, this is T3, this is T4 and this is T5. Okay. Since I have extracted all these trees from graph G, so I may call all these tree spanning trees of graph G. Okay. Now, what is there in this? See, suppose I want to go from B to D. So, then there is only one path of going from B to D. Okay. Now, what happens? Suppose I join this line. So, will a T2 remain a tree? If I join this line, then T2 is not a tree because suppose I want to go from B to D, then this is a direct path and then this is an indirect path also. So, there are multiple paths of going from B to D. So, if I do so, then this is not a tree. Now, this has become a graph. Okay. But if I uh, remove this particular edge, okay, so now again this is a tree. Okay. Now, we come to binary tree. See, a binary tree is a non-linear hierarchical data structure okay? because there are different labels in binary tree and it follows parent child relationship. Okay? Now, in case of a binary tree, every node either has no child or has left or right child or is having both children left and right children. Okay. So, that will be there for every node. Let us take some example of binary tree. Before that, I must tell you in case of a binary tree to every node, we will be storing a unique data item okay, which will be called key value. Okay. So, the data is stored at every node will be different. Okay. Why it, it should be different that we will discuss when we cover our binary search tree. So, let us start from first tree. So, this is 100, this is called root of the tree, root of the tree. Okay. So, root is pointing at 100 and see from 100 we may go to left child also and we may go to or right child also. So, from every node we may go in two directions to left child as well as right child. So, now the left child is 200 and the right child is 50. Again for this node left child is 40 or right child is 75. So, if I see this diagram then what is there? See this is having two children, this is having two children, this is not having any child, this is not having any child, this is not having any child. Okay. So, two children or no child, so this is a binary tree. Now, let us see this. Is it a binary tree? This is not a binary tree because for from this point to this point, if I want to go from 50 to 75, then I may go through 40 also and I may go directly also. So, now this is not a binary tree, this is just a tree. Now, if I want to make it binary tree, then I will have to remove this edge. 
okay then this will become a binary tree now in a binary tree we always move from from a parent to child so directions are okay for from parent to child so we will be having directions like this okay so every parent is containing some data item and it is containing address of left child and address of right child okay if no children are there then left and right fields will be pointing to null now let us consider this particular tree so is it a tree yes it is very much a tree but is it a binary tree it is not a binary tree because this node 100 is having three children okay so in case of a binary tree only up to two children are allowed okay but this node is having three children so this particular one is not a binary tree it's just a tree okay now let us come to binary search tree see a binary search tree is a binary tree where for every node say data of left child is smaller than parent and data of right child is greater than parent okay further all nodes attached to the left subtree of a node contain data is smaller than nodes data and all nodes attached to the right subtree of a node contain data greater than nodes data for example let us take this uh, particular binary search tree so if we consider this node 100 so all data because this is left subtree of 100 so all data will be smaller than 100 this is right subtree of 100 so all data will be greater than 100 so that is true for every node for every node we can uh, do uh, similarly we can see suppose we want to do it for 50 so this is the right subtree of 50 so data will be greater than 50 okay that's how it works now let us take one more example so this is also a bst this is left subtree of 100 so all data is smaller than 100 this is a right subtree of 100 so all data is greater than 100 this is left subtree of 50 so this is 30 smaller than 50 right subtree of 50 so greater than 50 smaller than 100 so this is left subtree of 200 so smaller than 200 but greater than 100 this is a right subtree of 200 so greater than 200 that is 300 and 250 and this is left subtree of 300 so this is 250 okay fine so now let us see where do we use a binary search tree see in a binary search tree searching is very fast after visiting every node we move either to the left subtree or right subtree of the node visited we will just see it okay uh, in this particular tree see we will start we always start from the root so we will be starting our searching from 100 suppose we are searching for a number 300 so we will compare 300 with 100 so 300 is greater than 100 so we will go towards right it means we won't go towards left okay then we will be comparing with 200 3 300 is greater than 200 so okay we will reach here and uh, we will find our number okay so what is happening after every search the after every comparison the resultant tree is getting reduced into either left subtree or right subtree okay since searching is very fast in binary search tree so it is very much used for indexing where a records primary keys are stored in nodes okay that is why since all the primary keys are unique that is why in a binary search tree all nodes store unique data creating a binary search tree see whenever we create a binary search tree we follow a repetitive type of process let us see what is that see our first node which we want to insert is 100 so what we will do since so far there is no node no data in binary search tree so 100 may be inserted at root of the tree so this is called root of the tree 
my second data item is 200 see I, I always start approaching the tree from the root only so I will compare 200 with 100 since 200 is greater than 100 so I will move towards right and right there is a vacancy so I will insert 200 here. My third data is 50 I will again start comparison from the root 50 is smaller than 100 so I will go towards left left there is a vacancy so I will be placing 50 here. My third data is 150 I will again start comparing from the root 150 is greater than 100 so I will go towards right ok. Now I will compare with 200 150 is smaller than 200 I will go towards left there is a vacancy so I will place 150 here. My next data is 25 I will again start comparing from the root 25 is smaller than 100 so I go to left now I will compare here 25 is smaller than 50 so I will go to left left there is a vacancy so I will place 25 here. My next data is 60, 60 is smaller than 100 so I will go to left, 60 is greater than 50 so I will go to right there is a vacancy I will be placing 60 here. My next data is 600, 600 is greater than 100 so I will move towards right, I will compare with 200, 600 is greater than 200 I will move towards right, right there is a vacancy I will be placing 600 here. My next data is 300 I will again start comparing from the root so 300 is greater than 100 I go towards right 300 uh, is greater than 200 I go towards right 300 is smaller than 600 I will go towards left and now I will place 300 here. My next data is 125 I will again start comparing from the root so 125 is greater than 100 I will go towards right 125 is smaller than 200 I will go towards left 125 is smaller than 150 I will go towards left there is a vacancy I will be placing 125 that is how we draw a binary search tree. Now let us see time complexity of a binary search tree we have drawn two trees here see first one is left skewed and second one is right skewed binary search tree ok. Now what is happening in first tree see we are not using the right field of any node we are just going towards left ok. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4 there are 4 nodes but we are having the maximum possible height with 4 nodes ok because since we are not using the right field that is why the height is increasing number of labels are increasing. So, what is the height? Height is 3 what are the number of labels 0, 1, 2, 3 ok. So, what is the best case complexity in this case ok. Same thing happens here also in right skewed also we are only going towards right so we are not using left field that is why the height of the tree is increasing or that is why the number of labels of trees are increasing ok. So, due to which what is happening see the time complexity is increasing so what is the best case time complexity suppose we are searching for a number 100 so 100 will be found at location number 1 only so best case time complexity is o1 in both cases for left skewed also and for right skewed also what is the worst case time complexity see Suppose I am searching for 20 so I will go to first then I will go to second then I will go to third then I will go to fourth so I will have to go to all labels and if there are n nodes so the worst case time complexity will be O n ok. So that, that is same for the left skewed also and for right skewed also. So best case time complexity O 1 and worst case time complexity O n because you will have to go to all labels in case of worst case you will have to visit all labels and number of labels are because number of nodes are n so number of labels are n ok. Now let us see a height balance tree ok. Suppose our binary search tree is like this see this is a height balance binary search tree 
okay this is a completely balanced binary search tree so we can always find out see what is the height of this tree 1 2 so what is the total number of nodes required to get a completely balanced okay completely height balance binary search tree with three labels 2 to the power h plus 1 minus 1 okay so 2 to the power h plus 1 3 minus 1 so which becomes equal to 7 so if we have seven nodes then we can get a completely balanced binary search tree of height 2 or labels 3 okay how many labels are there label 0 label 1 label 2 okay so height is 2 and labels are 3 okay similarly if you want to get a completely balanced tree of height 3 okay then how many nodes are required 2 to the power h plus 1 minus 1 2 to the power because height is 3 so 3 plus 1 minus 1 so this becomes 16 minus 1 so this becomes 15 okay i can even draw a completely balanced tree of height 3 So this is a completely balanced tree of height 3 and how many nodes are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Although it is difficult to get a completely balanced tree, we try to get nearly balanced trees okay. and there are some self balancing binary search trees such as AVL tree or uh, red black trees. Okay. So, now if we take example of this completely balanced tree, so what is the best case time complexity? Suppose we are searching 100, so we will get at location number 1 only. So best case time complexity is O1. Now what is the worst case time complexity? See now what has happened in minimum height you have placed maximum number of nodes okay? and you are worst case time complexity has reduced to O log n. Okay. So, this is my worst case time complexity for this. So, now we have two best case time complexities both are 1 and 2 worst case complexity one is O n and what is one is O log n. So, what is minimum worst case time complexity? So, in case of a binary search tree minimum worst case time complexity is O log n and what is the maximum worst case time complexity that will happen in case of a skewed tree. So, a maximum worst case time complexity is O n fine. 